Hey, what is up everybody? Happy 2021 and welcome to season two of Fake Jason Paranormal. So I already went live um, for a little bit, just a little short snippet um, on Instagram, just to kind of do a walkthrough. And uh, yeah, we've got the crown point all to ourselves. Um, I was just up here um, about a month ago with Sean and Cody from The New Reality. And uh, it was it was insane. Like, I can say it because I'm not monetized, it was fucking insane. So, uh, where the camera's set up right now, just over this ledge, that's where Sean and I caught the, uh, the full body apparition. Um, they were coming back off this ledge. I was backing up with the camera. I looked over, Sean looked over, and both of us were like, holy shit, did you see that? So I'm hoping third time's a charm. Um, I've seen two full body apparitions. They've both been here um, in this mill. And uh, before we even got things really set up, um, we, we've we already been hearing um, knocks and noises. Uh, some of that I will say, probably not paranormal um, because the wind is blowing. We do have a, a storm coming in. So we may or may not get some snow. So. The wind is supposed to die down, I'm hoping it does. Um, but if not, we'll try to go and debunk uh, as much as we can, you know, as being wind or, or, or paranormal. But we um, were up on the, I wanna say, third, fourth, fourth floor. And um, we, re we set up the, the famous bell that has, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. That was not wind. No. That was, that was something from back here. That was long. Yeah. One of these vats. Hello? Is anybody in here with us? My name is Anthony. I'm here with Michelle. Can you make that noise again? Let us know that you're here. That was crazy. Um, but we heard a, a female voice up on the fourth floor. Um, like I said, I got the bell up there. That sound almost like a yeah. Yeah, I got the bell up there. Um, I'm hoping like hell we'll get that thing to go off. Um, I do have a couple, um, got a cat ball up there next to the bell. I've got another one. Um, right down here on the floor. Uh, there's a, a third one uh, back beyond here where um, you guys haven't seen the episode yet, but we were doing a sensory deprivation uh, with Sean up on the third level when um, there was, I don't know, something got thrown. We thought it all came up on our third. It was down below us on the second level. They had a static cam set up down there. Um, which caught it pretty good. It was, it was pretty loud. So I got another one there and then I've got one up on the third level um, just off to the side where uh, the infamous bucket um, what the fuck? That was a growl. That was a growl and that was loud. Hello? Holy shit, I hope you guys were able to hear that. Um, anyways, where the infamous bucket uh, fell over in that episode with Patrick and Jason and the haunted side, we got, um, I was taking just like a little walkthrough video, but you can see the bucket's still there. Everything that fell out of that, that sounded like footsteps, mm -hmm. but it could be that door. Um, that door was open. Uh, I did my best to, to latch it as much as I could to keep it from, from swinging. I keep hearing shit up there. Yeah. Um, I've got, let me show you what else I have. Uh, digital recorder, mic, SB7 spirit box, headphones, K2. Thank you, Sean and Cody, for uh, hooking me up with this. Uh, Got my phone with the 
as Cody likes to call it, via the Necrophilia app, the Necrophonic app. Um, and I also, uh, hold on, look here. Also have, also got a ball. Just trying to figure out where to set it. Um, I don't know, we'll find a spot. We'll set it somewhere. Uh, but first and foremost, um, I want to thank uh, Stephen Saylor, uh, the Comstock Foundation, uh, for allowing us uh, in here, uh, along with Mr. Clay Mitchell. Um, thank you uh, for, like I said, for giving us this opportunity to come in and investigate this amazing place. Uh, thank you to uh, Jilly and Mama Jay from Northern Nevada Ghost Hunters. Um, they did a lot to help us get in here too. Um, like I said, all the proceeds when um, groups like you know the Homicide come up here, the New Reality, Fake Jason Paranormal, um, whenever we do private tours, all that money um, that we we pay, we donate. Uh, the funds to the uh, Comstock Foundation. Um, so they're able to preserve uh, historical locations like this up here in Virginia City, along with um, the Cabin in the Sky and the Donovan Mill down there in uh, Silver City. So thank you guys. I absolutely love you guys. Um, I've almost, like I said, I've almost got all my videos out. Um, I took the whole month of December off and uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's a new year, it's a new team, um, and it's a husband and wife team, so I mean, that's, that's pretty cool, and <laughs> it's our honeymoon, so it's actually our honeymoon night, and so she, she uh, said, yeah, let's go ahead and do this, so it's, uh, it's our honeymoon investigation, so that's kind of cool. Um, we are going to do something later, um, after COVID and all that shit clears out. But uh, yeah, let's let's get going, man. Let's get this place started, and uh, let's go see. Let's go get some ghosts. Let's go see what we find. So, ready? Mm -hmm. um, you can bring that if you want, or you can go ahead and shut it off. Um, I don't think we'll need it since we got. Uh... Yeah, or you can leave it like that. That's fine too. Kind of makes it creepy. So, do you hear that? Almost sound like footsteps. So, just to show you guys, um, like I said, this was the area right in front of me. That's where Cody was. Shama's in front of me. I'm about in the same exact spot when this started backing up. I backed up, and Sean and I were like, holy shit. So, this is the area that we caught that full body apparition. Okay, so here's a level below the walkway. There's another level. So right here, we saw it appear here and dart right through here. So, but let me show you guys where this thing came from, okay? That is a wall. That is, that is, I don't know. It's gotta be what? 16 feet, 18 feet of concrete. Yeah. That's where we caught the apparition appear through that wall and then dart out underneath this tank. Ooh, that was back up that way. Um, the other apparition that I caught, um, I'm gonna try to point my flashlight at it. If I, you know, I don't know if I keep things in the right pockets. <laughs> no, that's not. My keys. That's the keys. That's my wallet. Sweet baby Jesus. I think Jason is not on his game. It's in my pocket, huh? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, right up on this level, right up there, um, I caught a full body, a uh, full body, a full body apparition moving from left to right, just walking 
straight past. Like I could make out his head, his arms, his legs. Um, and then it was shortly after that, that I could hear um, two gentlemen uh, straight up having a conversation. Like it was fucking crazy. <sighs> All right, come on, carry this. So we'll do our little, little walk through right here. So this is the area. Um, oh, that sounded like a female voice that said, mm-hmm. So let me go ahead and set this up right here. And I want to show you guys. So I've got one of my cat toys um, set up right here. So if there's, if there's anybody in here with us, if you come up, you come anywhere near that, that'll light up and it'll let us know that you're here. That'll let us know that, you know. What? Like I said, guys, some of this could be the wind, but yeah, we're gonna, you know what? It's a perfect time. It's always a perfect time, but we're gonna do a needy piece session. So, set this right here. This is Anthony and Michelle. We are here. It is January 8, 2021. We're at the, the Crown Point Mill up in Gold Hill, Nevada. Can you hear it? Mm-hmm. It's like, dude, I swear to God, it's like someone's walking on there. Mm-hmm. If there's somebody here, can you come light up this ball right here? Let us know that you're here. I don't know if you remember me. Um, I've been up here a few times now. My name is Anthony, or you can call me Fake Jason. Do you remember me? If there's someone that's here and they want to make themselves known, can you come talk in this device right here with the red light on it? No need to be afraid, no need. It's not gonna do you any harm. It's gonna allow us to be able to hear your responses. Or if you wanna respond another way by um, throwing something, throwing a bolt, um, knocking something over, if you wanna come up and interact with this ball and light it up, did you hear that? That, I swear to God, that sounded like a guess. Dude, it's like still right now. It's like super still. Again, it sounds like something's walking there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play this back and uh, hopefully we got a response. And uh, it sounds like footsteps. Mm -hmm. so, it looks like somebody in high heels. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Let me let me stop this playback real quick. Um, guys, yeah, no, exactly. Um, you've seen the videos from the Donovan Mill. Um, You've seen the videos from, you know, the Demon House, the Truckee River Murder House. Uh, I would have to say that I haven't been in the, in the Cabin in the Sky yet, but I would have to say this is probably the most haunted location that I've been in. Um, just be, did you turn that light on like that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I keep hearing noises over here, so I'll see. Oh, I was like, holy shit. No. Okay, let's play this. Play this back, and uh, oh, I gotta do a better job of keeping stuff in my pocket. Can I take go. over my keys so you don't keep confusing? You want to put them in your pocket? 
I can. They keep grabbing at me. It's my flashlight. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play this back and see if we caught anything here. This is Anthony. Whoa, and whoa, whoa. Michelle. Did you hear that? We are like. This is Anthony and <laughs> Michelle. No way. Like, okay. We are here. I just started this EVP 8, session. And listen to this. This is Anthony <laughs> that and is Michelle. That is freaking crazy. We are here. It is January 8, 2021. We're at the, the Crown Point what Mill. What is that? Up, up. We're at the, the Crown Point Mill. Did you hear that? Up in Gold Hill, Nevada. We're at the, the Crown Point Mill. There's someone talking up in behind Gold Hill, Nevada. me. That was the walking on the... It's like... It's, dude, I swear to God, it's like someone's walking on here. If there's somebody here, can you come light up this bar right here? Let us know that you're here. I don't know if you remember me. Hmm. Um, I hear did, you, did you hear a yes right there? I don't know if you yeah, remember me. You can hear I, it. Heard, I heard it when you up were here. doing it. Yeah. Can you come light up this bar right here? Let us know that you're here. I don't know if you remember me. That is um, crazy. I've been up here a few times now. My name is Anthony. Or you can call me Fake Jason. Do you remember me? What the? If there's someone that's here... No way. Dude, that's a full if freaking someone sentence. someone that's here and they want to make themselves known, I'm definitely going to have to use the headphones and listen to this device right. right here with the red light on it. No need to be afraid. No need. It's not going to do you any harm. It's going to allow us to be able to hear your responses. Or if you want to respond another way by um, throwing something, throwing a bolt, um, knocking something over. If you want to come up and interact with this ball and light it up. What did you hear that? <laughs> no way. Knocking something over. If you want to come up and interact with this ball and light it up. Did you hear that? <laughs> That was that voice that we heard. I swear to God, it sounded like a yes. But it almost sounded there. It almost sounded like a hey. Dude, it's like still right now. It's super still. Yeah, it sounds like. Yeah, it's like right over there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play this back. And, uh, Hopefully we got a response. And uh, what? There's so many footsteps. What? I'm I'm excited, and, uh, guys. There's so many footsteps. No freaking way. So, and, uh, uh, hopefully we got a response. And uh, there's so many footsteps. What the fuck is going on? So, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, let me, let me stop this playback real quick. All right, guys, this, holy shit, like, I don't think I've ever had that many EVP responses in one session. Um, I know Patrick and Eric at one time at the uh, Washoe Club were doing an EVP session in the... Um, in the ballroom area. I know we caught a lot of EVPs in that, but for me just to, to put it down and to hit start and we already got a response before I even asked the first question, it's freaking crazy. All right, yeah, no, this is good. So we're gonna go ahead and let's, uh, 
Continue up the steps. Is it the ball? Mm -hmm. All right. I think we're gonna set the ball up. Oh, you're up the steps. This, yeah, this is crazy. So, I think we'll set that up there. Wow, let me see. Is that that ball? Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm going to set this ball. Just to show you, jumping around, that ball is still sitting there. So, and if that ball moves right now, I'll probably shit my pants. Is there anybody up here with us? I brought, I don't think there's any children in here, but if there are, there's a ball right here on this top step. If you feel like coming over and playing with me, come kick that ball or just push the ball down the steps and I'll, uh, I'll try and catch it and I'll put it right back up there for you. Is that something you could do? See, it's right here. If that's something you'd be interested in, just come Come nudge it. Either push it back towards the back there, or just push it down these steps. Or there's a bolt right there. Fling that, fling that thing right off the, uh, right off the side. Yeah, I'm thinking that right there is probably. I mean, obviously, you guys can probably hear this. It is quite windy outside. So, like I said, we're trying to debunk what's wind and what isn't. And as we get higher up here in the mill, I think we're we're hearing more because right behind uh, this back wall right here, um, it's part of the you know the mountainside that is built into. So you're getting a lot of wind coming off that. Um, there is a set of double doors there. Um, you know what, let's, we'll just go take a walk over yonder. And I'll try and not kick that ball. Like, oh my God, the ghost kicked it. No, it was just fake Jason because he's a ding dong and booed it. You good? Okay. So, back up this way, um, we do have the bell and another another ball. But I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about as far as the door. So, see, there's the door. So when we came in. See how the wind blows and it kind of pushes it back.
Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But it's just something we have to listen to. Not only that, but we don't want anyone else, you know, sneaking into this place and trying to vandalize it or anything. There's somebody up here with us. Can you come make yourself known? Got a little ball over here and a bell. Like if you wanna. Oh, I was like, what the? F if you wanna come make yourself known, come up here and. sure it's probably getting ready to die as you can tell but I had the bell there's somebody back here can you come ring this bell just like this you don't have to ring it three times just if you just ring it once like that would be awesome um, let me get out the necrophonic app and uh, we'll see. Let's see what we can get on this, this bad boy. Yeah, because that's not creepy. It's a D. I thought I was going to say demon. Oh, no. There's somebody in here with this. Can you, can you come make yourself known? And if you think you pick up any words, go ahead and feel free to. Chime in. My name is my name is Anthony. Can you say Anthony? Oh, it's a no. That was a deep voice. Do you not like Do you not like people here? Do you not like people here in your mail? That almost sounded like. You got more? Do I have more what? Do I have more toys you can play with? Can you come ring this bell over here? Hmm? Yes? So if you can ring this bell, yeah, do it, please, right here. Can you do that? Because I know I can do it, but I want to know if you can do it. Can you tell me how many people are here right now? Three? Three. Who's the third person? Door, yeah. I said three again. 
Are there are there three spirits in here with us? Can you tell me what your name is? Help. Help? What do you need help with? Can you come make yourself known? Why not? So I have, look, really simple. I have like a, a nail and I'm gonna toss it. And if you could toss it back, I would greatly appreciate it. So I'm gonna throw it on the count of three. One. <laughs> two. Oh, I thought so. Here we go. Can you do that? If you can't ring that bell, can you can you toss something to let us know that you're here? Hi. Can you tell me what your name is? You don't want to tell me what your name is? Well, my name's Anthony. Okay, mm -hmm. Scared. I heard that. Why are you scared? Is it because the wind's blowing? No. No? Ooh, did you hear that? It sounded like something got tossed and hit the wood. So like it says Frank. Is your name Frank? No. No? Sound like it's a girl. Ooh. Son of a bitch, man. That broke. Like, I'm pretty sure that was the door. It was. Oh. I swear to God, I saw a shadow move behind this piece of equipment in this dark display. Alright, let's uh, I'll have you grab. I'm gonna flip it all this way. Is there somewhere you want us to go? Sure? No? Do you want us to leave? All you gotta do if you want us to leave is like uh, that ball right there Boot that little puppy right down the steps. Or is that demon? No. Okay. Well, thank you for correcting on me that. Can you tell me? Are there more than three spirits in here with us? Hi. How many female spirits are here with us? One? So does that mean there are two male spirits here with us?
Did you just say Sean? Do you remember Sean? Because this was the area that he was doing his, uh, his sensory deprivation when we heard that loud noise. Yeah, do you remember Sean? Like you said, he was right here. He was right here when when that loud bang um, happened right below us. Can you can you push that bolt? Can you just push that right off the edge right there? Hmm? Screaming. All right, I'm gonna turn this back on here in a minute. That was kind of cool. This is the first time I got to use this. Um, yeah, that was kind of uh, insane. Um, do you want to do a sensory deprivation? No. Is there anybody here with us? My name is Anthony, the woman with the headphones on. Her name is Michelle. Can you come say something to her? Can you tell us how many spirits are here with us? I know you said three on the Necrophonic app. So one female, some are two male. One of them, is your name Frank? Can you give us a sign that you're here? Can you come tap on something? I'm going to give you a word to send to her. Can you tell her fake? Can you say fake? Are you not wanting to talk with us? Is it just static that we're getting? Because she has me look at that thing like I do. Gonna get sent to the pawn shop because I literally hate the SB7 spirit box because it doesn't like me. Ooh, that wind is blowing. Come, come move that ball right there. Ooh, that was from below us. You're not getting anything, are you? Mm -hmm. That's fine. But did you, I don't know if you felt that where you were standing, if you heard that, but there's a big loud bang that sounded like it came back down from I below. So grab, kind of grab that. Um, I'll follow you down. Feel free to kick that ball. Ring the bell. I swear, ring the bell and kick the ball. Sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a new song. Yeah. Like music yeah. <laughs> if you wanna haunt me, come and kick the ball. <laughs> come and ring the bell. Please don't make me fall.
Are you back here between these between these vats? I'm pretty sure I heard you move back down this way. Somebody that needs help? You need help? Where, right here? You're straight. I know Sean and Cody got some really good interactions back this way. No, it just looks like it was weird, like it was like a slow pump, you know. EVP session number two inside the, uh, the ground point. It's Anthony Michelle. We're back here um, behind the vats. Is there somebody here? You told us there was a female and two males. And maybe one of your names was Frank. Are you with us, Frank? to sound like that up there mm -hmm. because it's all wood so it makes me think if we're hearing that it's down here but that's what it sounded like sound like someone was like kind of like creeping up there there's somebody back here with us Is the female here that Michelle heard asking for help? Are you here? Can you go light up that cat was down there? If you need help? Can you come? This is pretty hefty. Can you come bang on this? Can you finish this? See, again, it sounds like shuffling. Like somebody's up there whispering. Yeah. Yeah. Or can you come bang on one of these? Too much of a coincidence. To, you that know didn't I mean? sound like the door did. That was. <laughs> was that you at the top? Maybe you're inside the vat, and that's why you needed help. Did you? Did you fall in one of these and die?
Is that what happened? And that's why you need help? Footsteps back there. What's that? He said I hear footsteps back there. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything either. Because if but someone's can... gonna walk up there, that that cat ball. Right. Well, okay, so turn the camera that way real quick. And I'll just demonstrate it real fast. So guys, if someone is gonna walk up on us, let me show you what's gonna happen. Back and listen to this. Uh, EVP session number two inside the uh, ground point. It's Anthony and Michelle. We're back here. There's somebody here. You told us there was a female, two males. And maybe one of your names was Frank. Are you with us, Frank? See, it almost sounds like this. Yeah, see, that was the first time. Oh, but it's weird for it to sound like that up there because it's all wood. So it makes me think if we're here, that it's down here. But that's what it sounded like. It sounded like it's all wood. That yeah, was just me moving in the, in the background, guys. There's somebody. Michelle heard asking for help. Are you here? You gonna light up that cat ball that's down there? If you need help? Can you come? It almost sounds like it sounds like a female voice. Can you come? Let me see this mic. This is pretty hefty. Can you oh, come? Can I go back for a Hang on. Can you go light up that cat ball that's down there? If you need help? Can you come? See? Mm -hmm. Let me see this mic. This is pretty hefty. Can okay. you come? Hang on, miss. Can you finish this? Yeah. It almost sounds like you said no when you said when I say can you finish this? Can you come bang on this? Can you finish this? <gasps> yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah. It's like no. Again, there's voices. Yeah, see? Oh, hey. What? Well, well we did it. Uh, it did it. And it, it did, did it again.
Christ. Lord, can you come today on one of these? Yeah, it sounded like it was, like that's how close it sounded like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that was too much of a coincidence. Uh, that didn't me? sound like the door did. That was. <laughs> Is that you at the top? Maybe you're inside the back? And that's why you needed help? Did you? No. Oh. And that's why you needed help? Did you? Sound like I said yes. And Did you fall in one of these and die? Is that what happened? And that's why you need help? What's that? That was back there. That starts back there. Oh. I was like, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> no, that was me. You can hear me. Because if someone's going to walk up to that, that cat ball. Well, okay, so turn the camera that way real quick. And I'll just demonstrate it real fast. So, guys, if someone is going to walk up on this, let me show you. There's something going on. Hmm? There's something going on. Because you were facing that way. I'm over there, but there's something. Noise is, back here. Something's going on back here. Dude, that was crazy. Like, that was just too much of a coincidence. And like I said, it could have been the door. So we will, we'll go up there again and I'll kind of, you know, bang on it and see if it sounds like the same thing. But again, if you're here, come finish this for me. Or give us one loud bang if you need help. If you need help, bang once. If you want us to leave this area immediately, bang twice. Well, guess what then? We're staying. <laughs> <laughs>